And today's video, this is a game called Kanta Collection, or Kanko for short. Now, what this game is about is kind of an interesting thing. I mean, in short, it's kind of like one of those card collection games where you can collect various characters, but instead of it being something like monsters or anything like that, they're female personifications of various battleships from, well, various world wars. Now, you could just say, oh, that's so Japan, but at the same time, it's, it's a little bit smart. I wouldn't even say a little bit, they're quite genius for it, to a degree. Because, seeing as how most admirals um, would call their ships a sheen, or refer to it as a her, it also adds to, you know, a little bit of detail that they went through for it. Now, I have not played this game for a very long time. I went on it a tiny bit to give it a little whirl, just to try out some of the basic menu functions so that I can remember what is what. And I kind of have the gist of it. I did a couple of daily quests just to get some items. I don't know. I have a ton of resources from what I can tell. Because from what I recall, the game... The game does give you a ton of resources overnight. Based on your uh, Admiral level, I believe it's called. Anyhow. Uh, the current menu that I am in is the ship building menu. I built a ship in the background, just sorting some things, and let us see what we got. Because honestly, I'm curious. Apparently we got a Maya. Okay. So, that's how you basically get ships. You just go in here, you put a certain amount of resources that you've got, and you just start building them. These little things called development materials, as you should see my mouse on screen, are a resource that you can build up upon by doing daily missions that are handy to you over here. Now, as you can see, this is in English. I am using a plugin to assist with that. Now, there's various details. I don't know if that gives a development material. Oh yeah, that's, those are called development materials. Anyhow, um, things like Daily Construction 2, there's also a Daily Construction 1. Um, there's also ones based around crafting equipment. Now, what is equipment, you may ask? Equipment is something you attach to your ship, as you would imagine. I think I went to the wrong menu. Okay, that's stock. Is this equipment? This is not equipment. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. This, this may take a while. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is this menu, right? Yeah. It's this menu, and it's this green button here. Now, you put a small amount of resources. Normally, I just put 11 box site. I think that's just muscle memory, though, going about it. And when you get those missions, generally speaking, you want it to fail. As you can see, it does require development material. But if you fail on the crafting process, you can you um, blah, 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 keep your development material. Now, why is that a good thing? Well, obviously, you get more development material to make more ships with. And then you also get a free one from the daily mission, which is all great. Now, you can set up your squads with various ships that you have obtained from either, well, just by doing simple missions and all that. Now, I don't know why my squads are set up like this for now, because if I'm going to be honest with you, it's been a very long time, as I uh, mentioned, that I have last played this game. Now, if I do recall, though, if I can go for a little bit of memory here, there should be a place where I can show off the basic combat of the game. It is very basic. I also believe you can maybe do PvP for development materials. I'm probably completely wrong about that. I think it's mostly just resources that you get from the PvP dailies. Now, let me just see if I can find the actual operation that I normally do. Okay, it's this one. Now, this is the basic mission selection screen, and generally speaking, you would start off from World 1, eventually to World 2, 
three, four, five, and then eventually six. Now, I have not progressed far enough yet, as you would imagine. Now, without further ado, let us do an extra operation for now, because I do not have an actual squad set up for anything else other than basic kind of scrubbing missions that you can do with starter ships. Now, I would have simply just started again from scratch, but this game is very much time-based and what and how you do things. And I would like to have a nice resource bank to start off with. And otherwise, that will just be a simply another playthrough from the start. Anyway, without further ado, let us deploy our ships. Now, from what I can also remember, these are submarines. Now, there's different types of ships, as you can imagine. I believe this is the formation you use. I hope I'm right about that. Oh. I wish all of it was translated, though. But it's mostly just things that you learn from the wiki. Anyhow, we're about to get into a battle. <laughs> Now there should be a random submarine. Now how combat works is pretty much automated. When you find each enemy fleet to battle, you just kind of go for it with basic flash animations. And that's pretty much it. Now the different kinds of ships are... I have three... no, even four different kinds actually in my fleet. Destroyers are normally more evasive than the others, but they're really frail. Um, aircraft carriers can attack preemptively before the battle even starts. And battle cruisers are generally, well, the sturdiest of ships. And I believe. Without interrupting Nakachan here, light cruisers are normally like a mix between like. Destroy something. I honestly don't know. Pretty much just use the archetypes that you want. Unless if they bind yourself to a specific path. Now, I did seem to get a ship here. I wonder what I got. Oh no. I don't know if anything against this character. I just remember getting a lot of her. <laughs> um. Anyway. Let us continue onwards. Also, if a ship, I mean, a, a battle lasts long enough, you go into the night phase, and in the night phase, you deal a lot more damage and also take a lot more. Now, what happens if your ship is reduced to zero health? Uh, if I'm going to be honest with you, from what I can remember, I did sink one. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. But it's pretty much permadeath. If your ship gets sunk, they're gone. That's it. Now, what is good about how the health system works, you cannot get sunk if you're at least at green health during battle. Now, that seems like an obvious thing, but say if you were hit by a ship for, say, all your health, you'd be only reduced to one, and I believe you're not allowed to get sunk in vain. Now, if you continue on with your ship in critical condition, like I did at some point in time, your ship will get sunk. Which, honestly, that was just me being silly, and I really just wanted to get past this air mission in the past. Anyway, let us just continue up more submarines. Also, I believe the enemy ships are also called... Uh, what are they called? The Abyss or something? They're kind of like a weird alien race thing. I honestly don't know from the top of my head. Now what is this over here? Is this how many ammo I've got left? No, that's XP. Okay. No, I should have plenty of ammo, actually. Yeah. Oh, Naka got a level up. We're gonna get another ship, let's see. Oh wow, I got another one. No problem, is I have 93 out of 100. Oh! I got a Shigure. I've wanted one of these. Back in the past. <laughs> I also still want to get a Congo. Didn't drop on this the level that I tried to farm her on though. Uh I think the only Congo sister I have is actually um uh, yeah. I'll have a look at my collection. I think it's mostly just clones that I've got though. 
that I'm saving up for another mechanic that I'll soon uh, mention. Just wanted to have a little bit of gameplay in the background, you know. Because hey, since it's all automated like this, I can pretty much just talk and watch. <laughs> uh, okay. There's a lot of Avastar Deer one with 24 hail. Oh, nice 15 damage. Nice 35. Nice overkill. Hey, good job, Gidachi. Okay. Keep getting all these S ranks, I'm gonna get another shot. Now, I believe you. Sorry about interrupting you there, Tiny Bit Yudachi. Um, <laughs> now, I believe these missions you also have to do multiple times to attempt to get a medal. Now, that's gonna be a little bit tedious, but getting a medal is quite worth it, from what I can recall. Because I think you can get a certain item that allows you to upgrade certain ships. Because I don't want to require it. Anyhow, let us hope we have no casualties. Because hopefully past me had a really good setup for this. Now, we did avoid an encounter there. So what's going to happen here? Okay. So we, had, we got to the boss, which is good. That's actually great. Okay. Let us hope we can kill this boss. <laughs> I would want something bad might happen. I don't know. Please, nothing bad happen. Ooh, join yourself. Okay. I just saw the prediction. Oh, that's scaring me. Okay. Oh, that's why the boss got first strike. Oh. There's battle damage, okay. Please tell me we can knock them out. I don't know if, um, Junior can even attack with damage. Oh, the boss is chaos. Oh, Yudachi! Doing some serious work! <laughs> poor Junior, though. Poor, poor Junior. Hey, nice rank. Now that was a little bit too close for comfort for me, honestly. Okay. Let us see what ship I got, because apparently I got one, which is actually kind of lucky on a boss one. Is there anything cool? Yoroshikune? Uh, again, another aircraft carrier is alright, but I wanted to get a submarine. Because there's only a, there is a certain submarine that you can get. Now, the good news is that we did get damaged. That's also bad news at the same time. But let us show off the basic procedure to sort out your squad after a about. Now, you can resupply your squad with fuel and ammunition that you've got there. Just for reference, that's fuel, that's steel, that's ammunition, and I believe that's bauxite? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, it is very much unfortunate that Jonya was the one out of all three of them to get hit, as probably you'd actually would have avoided it. My battle cruiser would have literally taken no damage. And Naka would have taken a small amount of damage, judging by her scratch as well. Anyhow. Let us just repair her. Now, unfortunately, this is also time-based. You can see that I've also have a few other ships that have yet to be repaired. I don't know what past me was doing. I think I just kind of left those for modernization, which is another mechanic I'll cover. Holy moly, an hour! <laughs> well... Um... The good news is, though, I don't have to wait for this because I do have 32 buckets, and why are those useful? 
you can instantly repair them without having to wait. Yeah, a lot of this game is very much time based. It's just something that you would log in and just do something like we short about. Then just set up some other things. Anyhow, let us show off modernization. Now this is a way that you would normally want to use to get rid of ships. Preferably when they're fully upgraded, like, for example, I could put... I wish their name was actually there. Um, that's in Japanese, though. I, I can't speak Moon Runes. Uh, <laughs> I may have to change this to a different version, actually. I think I've got an older one. <laughs> we'll see. It's, again, it's been a very long time. Anyhow. Say if you had plenty of duplicates of one ship, and you wanted to get some use out of them, you could just pretty much put them here for a small stat increase on any of your ships. Now, that's good. That's very useful, actually, because eventually, when you fully upgrade the ship to, say, their Kai form, uh, you can just effectively max out their stats of any spare ships that you get that you honestly don't want. Now, let me just check and see what else I've got. I believe this is where you swap out your ships as well. Again, why is this up in the moon runes? Uh. <laughs> right. So, I believe... Let me just check one more good for again. Oh yeah, I, oh, I have a lot of set on favorite. Okay, okay, that's useful. So which one is this one? Oh yeah, that's the Congo sister I had, I had here. <laughs> Can I actually look at their portrait from here? Doesn't seem like it, because I wanted to show off the little card. Look, I guess I could do it here, right? Yeah, I can. So, judging by the card. You'd actually, holy moly, keep on going on. <laughs> anyway, uh, based on the background color of their card, that's the rarity. Now, you wonder what, what this little shining effect is. I believe that's something to do with morale. That just indicates that she has a very high morale, so she's. Most likely gonna do things like, I don't know, critical hits and evade more often, I would presume. Again, it's been a while, so I am very rusty. I didn't play this game for far too long, I just kinda did it here and there. And I believe this is... Oh, okay. I believe this is indicating that it's some form of rare card with this kind of background. So that's kind of neat. Anyhow. Until I sort out some things, we'll just repeat that same mission, as I would like to try my luck at getting some ships. Because honestly, I should have probably checked up a little bit more before jumping into this game. I'll have to sort out the squad to see if we can do some form of progression as well, because that'd be kind of neat to progress through the levels, albeit it's very RNG. <laughs> and I do need to train up squads. Because while you can have several different squads, I know even the same squads are, you would not be able to go down certain routes. Like when we get back to the world map, I'll show that as an example. Because I believe to get to the boss here, you need a very, very specific team composition. I believe the team composition you need was an aircraft carrier of some sort. A battle cruiser, and I believe a combination of either two light cruisers, a light cruiser, or a destroyer. A destroyer and a light cruiser. So while it would be cool to just go through everything with battleships, progressing to next levels, and in this case, as boss, wouldn't be possible. So you'd have to train up a lot of different ships. Now, from what I can tell, as one of the main purpose of levels is whether or not you can remodel a ship. I don't really have an example to remodel right now, though. As long as my ships do require a higher level to do so. And obviously that's just more grinding. Anyhow, let's continue on. Let's hopefully get some medals! Well, a medal, I believe it is, if we do this three more times. Which I think we can potentially fit in.
Okay, let's go. Don't think I'll die this time. Yeah, that's good. Hey, oh wow, 71 damage, you dad shit. She's done some serious work. So powerful against submarines. Oh yeah, I believe the other main perk of destroyers is that they're really good against um, underwater ships, like submarines. I could be completely wrong about that though. I mostly just use destroyers in this stage, however. <laughs> It's just this particular route does not allow you to run full destroyers, I believe. Oh, sorry, I think I got another ship because the count just went up. Which is a little bit unfortunate, kind of. Maybe it'll be a submarine. I don't know what else you can get. Who am I going to get? I have way too many destroyers that I need to throw in the bin. It makes you feel bad, but I only have a cap of 100. Some need to go. Oh my gosh, the morale of you that she's at a hundred. She's doing some mighty art. Also, can nobody get hit by the boss's turn? And if so, can it just be the battle ship? Is it battle cruiser or battle ship? I don't even remember the terminology for all of them. Oh, we'll probably knock them out, right? Hopefully. Come on, do some more. Hey, 9 damage. Hey, 35. Nice 46 crit. <laughs> okay. So I believe we have to do two more battles for boss. Or uh, the... <laughs> Yo, Adachi, forever MVP and forever says the same line. <laughs> no, but I was going to say again. Oh, yeah. As I believe we need two more spaces. Oh, gosh, I got another ship. No, I'm capped. I think I'm capped on ships. Why you do this? I think that red means I'm capped. I should've just thrown some in the bin. I wasn't expecting to get so many. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's just the space, which usually doesn't have a fight. And then we get to the boss. I can't believe that. Oh, that's gonna ruin my chance of potentially getting a submarine from the boss. I think I'll just have to bend like 10 destroyers or something. Again, it's just been so long. Because I think I was saving them up for modernization in case I ever got something like a Congo. <laughs> Which again, RNG back in the past wasn't very kind. I got some really rare other ships, at least I think they were rare. Um, but nothing that I directly wanted. Because <laughs> Desire Sensor's like that. Oh! Apparently nobody got hit. Oh wait, no, no, Issei got scratched. Okay, that, that, that's fine though. That's perfectly fine. I mean, that's gonna be like four? No, five. Oh. Let's go. Boop. That's over, Kel. <laughs> that one over there. Exactly 19. Wow. And you'd actually be the true MVP. <laughs> I did have another destroyer I could have used, actually. I think it was called Shimikaze or something. Wait, I have 97, actually. I think. Did I get another one? <laughs> of course I wouldn't be captain now that I think about it. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Let's see who I got, though. I'm really curious. <laughs> I'm just stuck with all the destroyers in the world. I'll probably collect every destroyer <laughs> before I get a certain ship that I want from that area. Um, I believe it was like a German ship I wanted. Anyhow, let's just try and bend some ships. That's the place I want to be. Let's just 
burn some of them. Obviously none of my favourites, however. I have way too many favourites. Um... Uh, who is this, though? That's the problem! Oh, the bedrooms. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 okay. I didn't load. Okay. That would have been very bad if I did that. That's a quite rare aircraft carrier. Um, bye bye destroyer. And bye bye destroyer. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of all of these, I guess. It's too many. It's too many. We get a very slight amount of resources, but I could have used them for modernization, actually. Let's just get rid of some for now, just for the sake of speed. Yeah, else this is going to take a while. And besides, we're, we're bound to get more destroyers. Knowing my luck. And they're very common. Eh, I don't want to. <laughs> Got too many of these. Right. I mean, that's a good count for two runs. So I just need to get some more supply. <laughs> Oh gosh, all the poise. Maybe I should just change my flagship, as all we're gonna hear is poi. <laughs> uh, so let's just do two more runs. Anyhow. Okay, who's gonna get hit? Please, you say no! <laughs> That's another bucket. Oh, I mean, I could just simply swap out Knack and repair over time, but eh. Buckets, though. Oh, <laughs> that, 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 that created. Yeah. You want to be an idol. Obviously, that part isn't really accurate about the warships. She messed. Yes. Please tell me we KO her. Come on, Yudachi. Come on. No! Come on, come on. Junior. No! Easy. Come on, come on, come on. No! Naka, come on. What, what is going on? No! I don't remember which button is which. I don't want to night fight a submarine. That's suicide. <laughs> Hang on a sec, I'm gonna have a quick Google of which button is which. Okay, I'm back from a quick Google. Please, for all that is holy, tell me that this is the right button. I mean, it just means I'll be there for a lot longer, but I'm not risking a thing. I don't know if the submarines can attack at night or not, because again, it's been a while, but... I, again, I'm not risking Naka getting sunk. That's not good for my heart. <laughs> I'll take the A rank. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I got a, I got a ship? From retreating? What? What am I gonna get? Konnichiwa! You're gonna get the scrap pile. I already have one boy. <laughs> yes, they did come back. Pile the destroyers. Aren't I shouldn't expect too much. I don't know if you do require two destroyers or not, actually, to get past that certain path, but even then, I'm just gonna buck it. Uh, da -da -da -da, here, right? Two hours, definitely bucketing that. Right. <laughs> Let us just do a little bit more. Uh, right, come on. I just was explaining this to me two more times and that was it. At least Naka's morale is still good, even though she almost got sunk. Come on.
Actually, I'll edit this tidbit out and I'll see you guys at the boss. Okay, and we are back. We're going to be heading to the boss real soon. So let's just see how that fares. I mean, as long as this doesn't take us the wrong route. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't, little fairy thing, whatever you are. Oh? Okay. I don't think I'll, I'll ever go off course with some idea. Right. RNG. Do not hit Naka. Do not hit Yudachi. You can hit Junyo. Or Issei. But those two are a no-go. Alright? Game? Please? Comprende? <laughs> Please? Don't do it. Don't! I thought you'd actually just evade it. The good news is it is a destroyer, so it doesn't take as long to repair. The bad news is I'm gonna buck it anyhow. The damage. Also, I don't think I'm allowed to go into night phase anyhow. Two damage. Please just kill the boss. Please. You die, actually. Hit the boss. Thank you. Don't tell me you guys are gonna keep messing this. Hey! Now what do we get? Do we get any ships? Because all I keep getting are destroyers and destroyers and destroyers. I got like two destroyers before coming here. <laughs> well, good job, Junior. Right, who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boop. Meow! Okay. Little bucket. Oi? I can't. Uh, my poor bucket. No. Right. One more run. Again, I'll see you guys at the boss. Else, you know, watching the same thing four times isn't going to be the most fantastical thing. So, bye bye for now. I, I, I think I'm cursed. What is it going to be? Right. If that's a destroyer, that's a really cool one to me. But again, it's another destroyer. <laughs> Okay, well, we're really close to the boss, though, so let's see how it goes. Because if it goes well, this is the last attempt that we require to get a medal. So hopefully we're lucky in that case. I'd love to get a medal. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I believe require one for a certain ship. I'm trying to remember what ship. I might just save it for another one. Please don't hit anyone. <gasps> Nobody got hat on the protection chart. Oh! This is so good! RNG! Thank you! Skillful Hey! Now, the question is, did all of them get KO'd? One down. Two down. Yes. That 91 crew would be so much better than the boss. Never mind. Good job. Hey, That was amazing. Loving it. <laughs> now, what would make this even better is if you give me a submarine. No more destroyers. Please. Please. We got the medal. Which is great. Now, no sub, no sub, no su I mean, why am I saying no sub? I want a sub. Please a sub. Give me a sub. You're, you're not a sub. I think you're another destroyer. 
Yeah, I know I cleared and have access to another one, I guess. <laughs> we got the medal at least. Let's just see. What classification this one is? It'd probably be quicker to just simply Google than browsing through the menus trying to figure out. This would be easier actually. So oh, there we go. I have no clue what you are. You seem to be a destroyer. Yeah, it's definitely a destroyer. <laughs> Wait, you're not a destroyer, it seems like? Unless, if that means destroyer, which it might, and that might not mean destroyer. Maybe I like. Wait, how much health do you have? No, you're definitely not a destroyer, judging by your health. You're some like a light cruiser, then. Huh. Okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. At least it's somebody new that I don't think I've ever had. And it's a light cruiser to boot. So, so I'll take that. I'll take it. Anyway, folks. But when she's done poying all over the shop, I probably need to change my flagship. Else, that's the, the, just going to get kind of annoying to me. <laughs> um, anyway, folks. I'll see you guys next time. And possibly another Kantai collection video. Hope you enjoyed this little tad bit that I was doing. Well, it's not even a lot, it's pretty long. And I'll see you guys next time.